Hello my Taurus lovelies. Okay, so I'm just going to see what comes through for you guys in May. Happy birthday if your birthday is in May and I'm really looking forward to see what's coming through for you guys. I'm going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot as well as a few little other extra cards I suppose just to see what information comes through for you and I'm also going to be using a slightly different spread I will be picking up on love and I will also be picking up on anything else general that seems to come through for you guys if you would like to get a reading from me you can do so through the description link that's all down below or if you'd like to become a patron and have one a reading every month specifically for you you can do that too all right let's see okay so like i say this is the everyday witch tarot i'm really looking forward to seeing what's coming through for you okay oh hanged man so in some respects you may feel as though things have been a bit stationary lately i also get the impression from this one that a few of you are struggling to let go um yeah, there's a there's a feeling of a reversal here, suspension. Maybe your feelings are just stuck in the same place. Maybe it's as simple as that. I don't think a, a lot of you have the connections that you thought that you would have by now. And though some of you, I don't know, it just feels like you're continuously doing the same thing every day. It could be that, all right, I need to do this today, that today. But this project's various things that you may be doing. They all seem to have the same energy. I mean, I'm not saying, that, oh, you're boring, Taurus. They're far from it. But it just feels as though you may be bored by some aspects of the monotony that is going on around you at this moment in time. It may also be the fact that other people are having this issue with each other. And you are just bored of their drama, to be honest. I also feel that with this, there's a strength coming through from having this so you've sacrificed a lot of your time maybe even your mental health and emotion to get to where you are today and you have achieved a lot of stuff that's you know you've had on your list but I just feel as though you still want to search for something else there's still the next part of your list that you want to go towards so with the hanged man it's kind of saying that yes you may be in suspension now but don't worry that this is going to be it forever for some of you if it is indeed feelings that you are struggling letting go of I feel as though you will get that shift that you need and the three of wands confirms that this is mainly your preparation your foresight you've had the idea you've progressed with it you've had the discovery of your talent you've had the discovery of how things work if anyone asks me to describe a Taurus I would say like a watchmaker you know you like knowing how things work you're very thorough and I feel like this is going to be something that you can put into action now everything that you've looked into everything that you have tried to organize in your life is coming forwards now you are definitely on the stronger side of this and I believe that you are going to see the magic coming into you're sending out your intentions you're sending out your wish into the universe if you will and it's being answered with justice here it is kind of a responsibility that you have to yourself there is something that brings forward the sense of look i need basically my eye was immediately drawn to the word law here you like you know with structure basically um you like knowing what you're supposed to be doing you like knowing what things are happening. You like, you know, figuring things out for you. And I think that if you know or expect something in particular, this is generally something that you want to see through. You want to see other people bring it forward. You want to see things that were promised come to fruition. Now, if for some reason somebody is saying, I'm not ready to do this or I'm not fulfilling my promise, I have no, absolutely no problem in saying, look, if you mess with the Taurus, they're not going to mess with you anymore. You know, they're just going to walk away or they're going to bring the law down on you. So it could be that you wanted to see karma delivered to this person or you want to see things just come to an end already. Something needs to stop. Something needs to be pushed to one side. 
something just needs to have this balance now and it could be that with all your talk of cause and effect and making decisions and wanting karma to come through you have a part in that you have a part in this karma you may not even feel like you are involved in it anymore or you may feel that you're still too involved but this is because your karmic energy is not letting you go yet so if there's something that you still have that's in your arsenal here that you still want to say look I am done I am now more emotionally balanced I let you go I let the past go I let let past issues go that will empower you even more to justice to bring justice to have to be justified to be vindicated and say look I knew this was going to happen you know, all my instincts were correct. I knew this was going to happen. Interestingly enough, you do have a card that came through for Aries. So if you do have an Aries flavor, this could be something for you too. This has a feeling of curious enthusiasm, discovery energy. And I feel as though this particular card is bringing forward a sense of what about, you know, asking questions, not accepting everything for what they are. You know, on first impression, it may be that, oh, okay, so the situation means this. But on further inspection, it may come forward to be that there's another way to approach something, that there's another way that you can understand things. Now, I do have my little fluffy unicorn pencil here, so I won't be distracting you with that. <laughs> um, but this kind of energy coming in here is saying well you've been going this way all the time and you're expected to carry on this way and you're expected it to lead you down this road what if you went that way what if you did something that you don't feel comfortable doing what if you did something that you was not on the cards what if you did something that was against your plan because sometimes the plan will not work because something hits the road and you have to swerve around it I think this is kind of what's happening for you you cannot continue on the plan if there's a big tree in front of you you have to back up and try again and try and get there a different route that way is being blocked for you for some reason and you need to not necessarily question it or look at it and how or theorize you know why the tree fell in this way just get on with it go around here move on you don't want to sit twiddling your thumbs all the time to figure out how things work and what's going on this time sometimes yes that benefits you but other times it's just like take the page of wands go it could be a message or an invitation to say you know what do you want to take a trip here and you're kind of like well that goes against my plans you know that goes against my big opportunity if you get an invitation that makes you even a little bit interested or excited take it take that chance Wow, Wheel of Fortune. I think Aries got this as well. I can't quite remember because when I channel readings, they just kind of disappear from my mind. Um, but this seems like it's going to be a different energy for you. There is a turning point, but I feel as though it could be taking a risk, taking this gamble that you may not even know that pays off. It could also be the way that I'm seeing this as well. I'm just bringing my unicorn pencil once again. Um, this feeling of rewards. And, you know, when you go, I don't know if anyone plays online little games or if you go on Candy Crush or something, there's sometimes this little wheel that comes up when you spin the wheel and it's a reward for loyalty. And it's this kind of reward where you can, um, you spin the wheel and you get something nice. I feel like this is a reward coming through for you so you could for instance get some opportunities coming through you could get the ring that you've always wanted or a present that you've always desired you could get some breakthrough in regards to your health or something that makes you feel so energetic it could be that you have an opportunity to actually move it could be that new or understanding or absolutely brand new love comes into your life a big pot of money more knowledge and understanding it could be that there's actually a eureka moment where you know everything that's coming through so you are going to be gifted something this month as well he definitely came through with aries and i shuffled a lot before camera and during camera so you have very strong correlations with aries this time but the King of Wands, it could be that he's coming through with a sense of very, you know, dictatorship almost. But it could also be this feeling that 
I don't know, oh, correlation time, correlation time. I love synchronicities like this. So there's a little ginger cat over there and he's leading you down this path. This little cat here is kind of being told where to go by this um, Aries or Sagittarius or Leo gentleman. So he could be your messenger. I feel like for some of you, this is a messenger coming in to kind of lead you to where you're supposed to be. And if you follow that messenger, it will be able to move forward. This could even be a guide for you, or it could be somebody who's an ex or um, even a current partner going, I want you to tell such and such, this Taurus, to kind of follow me here or meet me here. It could be that, but I feel like he's just learning. He's getting this kind of conversation from this person. And from this guide energy, this messenger is coming in to kind of lead you to the next stage, really. Uh, I feel like this is a wand. I kind of like it. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, Knight of Swords. Again, came up for Aries. So again, you have kind of a correlation with them. It's kind of like you're in partnership with them. Um, so the Knight of Swords comes in. And I just had a deja vu very strongly. So excuse me for that. Um, but Knight of Swords is very strong, very opinionated, very hasty. It's about putting your plans into action and not being afraid of the consequences of doing it quickly and efficiently. So when this particular one comes in, just going, ha ha, I'm moving forwards. This is something that I think you can take control of. It's not a chaotic energy. It is not like, for instance, not um, uh, an Aries or um, fire sign energy. It's not like a chaotic boom burst. This is controlled, directed. This has a plan in mind, an execution in mind as to how to go and all these feathers these are also messages so i think that there's a lot of communication coming in here it could be that it's from far abroad it could be that you are hearing from people who are from abroad and wanting to meet with you or talk to you or have something that you're wanting to discuss in more detail um it may be that you feel like oh i want to speak to this person or contact this person and you never would do normally, but it's a last ditch attempt. It's a last ditch instinct and you go with it and then it works out for the better. So it could be that you take a risk this month and it pays off. But there's definitely something that you need to let go of. It may be even the formula that you utilize in your life. You know, it may be the fact that you can't just meander through. And with the new moon on the 4th of May... In your first house of self and your path through life in, in, in itself as well in your body. It could be that you're trying to understand, this month at least, how you fit into it still. It's kind of a moment where you have to consider, am I still me? Do I still like who I am? How am I going to correct the course that I'm on? Ooh, friends. The most unlikely friendships can form. Like variegated lichens on hard rock, they create a tight bond. I'm not even sure what a variegated leeching is. I never do <laughs> when it comes out. But this is definitely a feeling of take a risk with friendships. Take a risk with the people that you never thought you'd connect with. Take a risk with people who you may have looked at but never wanted to approach because you thought they were higher than you or something. This, I feel, is kind of directing you to take that out of the box scenario you don't have to fit into the box that you've made yourself you can change you can maneuver yourself elsewhere and especially with the full moon in scorpio your sister sign on the on the 18th of may that's in your seventh house of spouses foreign trades short trips going abroad maybe there's something you can explore there and let me know how it goes in the in the comments below, Taurus. And I really look forward to hearing from you. Please do like and subscribe and share if you would like appreciate this content. And everything that you need to know as to how to get in touch with me is in the description box. But thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Take care.